Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training session. I'm Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Um, today, we're going to talk about finding data through data portals and through data search tools. Um, it, it's a really big deal to be able to design uh, great data visualizations, but the heavy it all starts with heavy lifting, going out and being able to find data sets uh, that are reliable, that are clean, that are uh, accurate, uh, that have credibility, and it's not always an easy thing to do. So that's where the heavy lifting uh, starts uh, in the data visualization process. Um, so on the Journalist Toolbox homepage, journal, journalisttoolbox.org, uh, simply scroll down the left-hand side to the public records page right here and open the public records page. And uh, this is our most popular page on the site. It's been around for uh, to almost the entire uh, time we've had the site, 23 of the 24 years we've had a public records page on here. And we're gonna work with the first four tools on this page, Google Dataset Search, US Local Data Portals, dataportals.org, and Our World and Data. And this page has many more uh, tools than just this a uh, little finding data section up here. We have FOIA resources a little lower on the page, um, all kinds of different uh, uh, data, you know, working with whistleblowers, uh, public records, uh, uh, tip sheets, and, and large deep data sets here. Um, but we're going to work with these first four, which are uh, kind of broad-based tools to help you find uh, data sets that you can take and use in a story or in a graphic. Um, so go ahead and open those up. Um, dataportals.org, uh, the U.S. Data Portals uh, uh, page, which is actually a GitHub page, um, our worldanddata.org, which is a great site, and then we'll also use the Google Dataset search tool. So you can either open them up on the public records uh, journalist toolbox page at journalisttoolbox.org, or you can uh, pause the uh, video right now uh, and uh, uh, look look up these data or uh, data portals right here. Dataportals.org. You'd have to Google U.S. data portals, uh, our world and data, uh, and then also uh, the Google data set search tool. So hit pause and go ahead and call those up. Okay, the first tool I'm going to talk about is dataportals.org. Uh, this is a collection of nearly 600 data portals from all over the world. Uh, it can be very helpful if you uh, do a broad Google search and don't come up with much. I uh, bookmark this page and go to it. It has everything from state data portals, uh, data portals from all over the world. There's stuff from Amsterdam up here. If you want to look up at Amsterdam's uh, data portal, um, you can look that up. Uh, you can open up the Australian Antarctic Data Center. There's all kinds of uh, different data uh, portals listed in here, um, nearly 600 in all. Uh, and again, this is just an archive that links you to various data portals. Updated all the time. When this first launched, I saw it had 400 portals. Now it has close to 600. So that's dataportals.org. Sometimes they will have a map with this too, where you can go around and actually click on the countries. Um, if you want to read more about it, just click on this about page up here. It talks about uh, all the people that contribute to this. It's a lot of uh, data visualists, uh, representatives, PIOs from various uh, national and international organizations um, and other national governing uh, bodies. So it uh, lists a lot of uh, them right here. And you can also, if you happen to work with one, uh, have yours listed here as well. So that's dataportals.org. The next site uh, has been posted by uh, the Sunlight Foundation to this GitHub page. Um, and this is just a long list of state by state and in some cases city by city uh, data portals. And you can see the link over here on the left, um, and then the city or the uh, uh, county or state name uh, over here. So uh, again, it's listed in alphabetical order. Uh, you can just go through and look for what you want. Again, if you've done a broad Google search and haven't been able to find something, sometimes these portals don't show up uh, on the first couple of pages of Google search. Uh, you can go in here and find them. It's just a really good, quick reference, good bookmark to have along with dataportals.org. Our third tool uh, is one of my favorites, ourworldanddata.org. Uh, this is a uh, collection through Oxford University of uh, all kinds of different tools um, with data visualization, starting with data sets that you can pull, uh, also visualizations that they do that you can take and easily embed. And I'm going to show you three different parts of this site. Uh, you can go into articles by topic up here at the top and go into things uh, like health and look at life expectancies, 
uh, uh, different types of diseases, including coronavirus, COVID, cancers in here, many others. It has data on obesity, pneumonia. Um, I've had students that have looked up all kinds of different demographic information in here, uh, uh, looking up differences in average weights uh, for genders over the last 150 years. Uh, there's all kinds of just really deep, rich data sets that you can find in here. Many times they have visualizations that are tied to them that you can just take and embed into a page. Um, there's all kinds of world economic and poverty data here, military spending by country. Uh, it's just a deep, deep, deep website uh, full of, of different data visualizations and data sets. Uh, 300 topics in all. Everything is free, um, open access. Uh, if you want to read a little bit more about their methodology, you know, just go to the About page up here. Uh, it'll give you some really good uh, information about the background of how the site works. Um, it also has a nice search engine. You can type in a topic. and uh, I just typed in population here. And it gives us an infographic that we can take and easily uh, download or embed. Um, you can look at the data. The, if you, there's a map associated with it, uh, uh, line chart. Uh, these look really nice embedded into a page. Um, and also you can just grab the data, some of the data sets available over here on the left-hand side. There's a few down here uh, as well. So uh, just searching by a topic, uh, you can come up with something very, very quickly like this. And again, the charts are really nice to have. Uh, is you don't have to do any coding. Um, the Coronavirus and Pandemic Data Explorer here is a, another fantastic tool, has all kinds of graphics built into it. Um, you can break it down by country. There are many different types of settings that you can add here. Uh, you can add various countries there. You can see, you know, the U.S. is still uh, trying to bend the curve there. You know, many of the other uh, countries have already started to, to bend theirs. Um, good little assignment for students uh, uh, if you're teaching a class. Uh, to have them go in and just do some early analysis on a data set and just go through and look at some of these charts. It's a great way to, for them to learn how to use this. And then st start to have them download the data sets and work with them and create their own charts. Um, but if you want to get them just looking for a story in numbers, going to a page like this early on uh, is it, really, really good thing to do. So Our World in Data, one of my favorite sites, um, really, really rich site with all kinds of different uh, data sets from all over the world. Our last tool is the Google Dataset Search tool. This is just merged out of, uh, uh, out of uh, uh, an early beta uh, and is now available to everyone. Um, and you can go and search for data sets in it. And what it does is it gives you only data sets that you've searched for that have a form tied to them with information about the data set. Um, so people that are posting data sets, and if you're interested in doing that, uh, you can post a data set here, uh, but you have to fill out a form and provide some documentation here uh, to make sure uh, that it's up to uh, standards. Again, Google doesn't vet this data, um, but it does provide information about the data set um, to help you better vet uh, whether or not you want to use this data set or not. So I'm going to type in U.S. mass shootings. I'm going to look for U.S. mass shootings databases. And it gives me more than 100 data sets found down here on the left-hand side. Um, this first one here comes from Statista. Um, and as you can see here, it provides you know pretty good description of what this data set is, who provides it, what formats it comes in. If you want to uh, uh, download this data set, uh, you can go here. Um, some of these are a little more detailed than others in their methodology and, and what they're uh, uh, providing here. Um, you know, there's some really well-known data sets here. The Stanford uh, Libraries uh, Mass Shootings Database is one of the best-known ones. It's got all the mass shootings from 1966 to 2016 listed on a spreadsheet. It's available in CSV format. Um, you can also narrow your search up here uh, by clicking on free or looking at usage rights. Almost all of the uh, uh, data sets you'll see here are public domain, but there are some uh, that require permissions or, or maybe uh, uh, you have to pay for the data set. Um, and as you can see here, the Stanford uh, Libraries one is very detailed in, in their context, their content, how they uh, uh, pull the data, uh, their method, research methodologies. They've even got a YouTube video, which is really nice, that uh, uh, explains the data set in, in great detail. Um, so, you know, this is really helpful information if you're thinking about pulling a data set and not sure which one you want. Save you having to go into look at a lot of different websites and, and dig out their methodology if it's even listed there at all. 
Um, again, you know, there's more than uh, 20 million uh, data sets in this da uh, database now, um, and it provides a lot of really good information for you if you're looking for data sets. And notice down here, uh, you, you can go in and look at various states. You know, I didn't even type in a state name with it, um, but it, you can get much more detailed as you scroll down here. Um, when this tool first launched uh, in beta about a year and a half ago, there were eight data sets that I found here. And uh, uh, these eight data sets have since grown to more than 100. So uh, again, uh, very, very good tool uh, for looking up data sets. And again, you can uh, narrow it down by download format or uh, you know when they were last updated, if you want to dig back a few years. Um, you can type in all kinds of different topics here. When I'm doing my uh, journalism trainings and data viz trainings, I always tell beat writers, you know, type in the uh, different uh, topics of uh, concern or of interest to your readers in here and see what's available. Just check that every week or two, uh, and you can see what, you know, uh, shows up here. I just typed in tacos. I love tacos. And sure as heck, there's a data set of 19,000 plus businesses that have taco on their menu. You know, if you wanted to map that, you could. Um, but there's also a lot of information here on, you know, Del Taco, Taco Bell, and others uh, that are listed here. But I also typed this in for a reason. Notice how, uh, you know, search engines are literal. Um, they're dumb. Uh, they will give you back exactly what you type in. And I meant tacos in the food. And it gives me uh, tacos, uh, the tampered amplifiers for cold atom optical systems from NASA. Um, in fact, that data set shows up twice in here. So you never know what you're going to get back here. But uh, as silly as you think this search might be, as you scroll down here, you start to get into, you know, complete list of all Taco Bell locations. You know, you can map something like that. Or uh, it's got also got a, a lot of their revenues uh, and their financials listed in here. Um, it also has some of their foundation money listed in here, their Form 990s. So, um, you know, it can be some very helpful data that you can find in here. So, um, again, uh, the Google public uh, uh, or the Google data set search tool, um, the Our World in Data website, the U.S. Data Portals, and then dataportals.org, which is international data sets. So, hope this is helpful. We'll see you next time.